After selecting an appropriate route, the next thing you need to do is determine the true course of your route for every leg where there's a turn, and then determine the distance between checkpoints. So we start to use our nav log at this point, and you fill this in in this order. You start out by filling in the appropriate checkpoints that you've selected, and then you go to fill in the true course that you, that you measure from the sectional chart, and then you'll fill in the distance for each leg right here. So I'm going to start out by filling in my checkpoints. So my departure point in this example is Lakeland Airport. So I'm going to put in the code for Lakeland. My first checkpoint is going to be when Zephyr Hills Airport is directly to my left. So I'm going to put Zephyr Hills on left. The checkpoint after that is when Brooksville Airport is on my left. And my final is my destination airport. So number one, I have my checkpoints filled in. Number two, now I need the true course, the, the course as measured on the sectional between each of these waypoints. So to do this, you need to get out your plotter and you need to line it up with the course line that you drew on the chart. Remember, when you're using the plotter to line your course line up along this edge right here. So I can put my course line along this edge of the plotter and then you need to find a line of longitude or latitude over which to put the center of the plotter because that's what you're going to use to measure. So there's a line of latitude right here at the bottom by Lakeland so I'm going to use that for my first one here. Now as I read my numbers I have four options. You'll see that this line intersects four different numbers. 90, 270, 0, and 180. Since I'm using a line of latitude, you need to use this little inner scale. However, you don't need to memorize that because you can simply look and see which of these numbers makes sense. And you can see that the only one that makes sense out of those four is 0. So our true course for the initial leg here is 0, or 360 degrees. So I'm going to fill that in on my nav log. All right, now after I make my turn here, I'm going to have a new true course. So I'm going to have to measure this line. Okay, so it's easier to measure using, using lines of um, longitude. So I'm going to try to find a good one. And I see a point right up here where my line intersects a line of longitude. So again, I'm going to take my plotter and I'm going to line it up on this edge right here with my course. And then I'm going to put the grommet, the center of this thing, right over the line of longitude. Now, again, I have numbers to pick from, so I look at where the line intersects the top of the plotter here. So I have a couple of choices. I have, I have 142 degrees, or I have 322 degrees. Now, which one of these makes sense? Well, 140 degrees is heading southeast, and 320 degrees is heading northwest. I'm heading northwest, so I'm going to pick 322 degrees as the reading for my true course on my second leg. Now you'll notice that between my second and my destination here, my second checkpoint and my destination, my true course doesn't change. The line doesn't turn. So I can just fill in the true course for the next block right now. Next we need to measure distance between the waypoints. So again, using your plotter, find the point where it has zero and measure the distance from your departure airport to your first checkpoint. We can see as I go up that it's about 14 miles, 14 nautical miles, again using the sectional chart scale. So now I can fill in my first distance. So from Lakeland to my first checkpoint is 14 nautical miles. I'll proceed to measure my next two distances and then I will fill those in in these blocks as well.